Pen tool in Adobe XD is really useful because you can use it to create really complex shapes that you cannot achieve with just regular plain shapes that Adobe XD gives you. So if I take you to Adobe XD, this is where the pen tool is located. You can also use the P and when you click, you're just getting this dot, which is called anchor point. And what's, uh, what you need to do from here is basically create a full circle. So you can click right here and right here, for example, just to complete these shapes. And here you have this more complex shape that you cannot get basically with uh, these default tools that we talked about in a previous video. What I need to do is include a fill color so I can click and move it because if I don't, I just, cannot select it like this, I need to click on my pot. So what you can do with this shape now is you can double click on it and you can access this and then you can click and change these anchor points and move them wherever you want. And also you can double click on it and now it's going to show this curve. With this curve, you can still click on the anchor point, move it up and down, left to right, do whatever you want with it. But now also you have these handles and you can move these handles to achieve these different shapes. You can double click right here. You can double click right here, or you can simply add new anchor points by clicking whatever you want. And then you can move those anchor points to whichever direction you want. You can have these straight shapes and also curved shapes. So depending on the shape that you want to achieve and to create, you're going to move and use these. And of course, at any point you can click on these handles and you can change the orientation of this shape. This is why the pen tool is really useful if you are creating these complex shapes because you cannot really achieve those shapes with these default shapes. You can always add additional anchor points even with these default shapes. You can double click in it and simply hover right here to add a point. And then from here you can double click, for example, like I showed you with a pen tool. And then you can create these shapes, which is great, for example, for logos or for any kind of UI shapes. But once again, pen tool is really useful if you're creating these more complex shapes. In the next video, we're going to talk about text tool, why it's useful, where you can find it and how can you work with it in Adobe XD.